What's up party people? My name is Daryl and welcome to the 60 day best web hosting competition. Now what is the best web hosting? How many times have you asked someone that and then you got a bunch of different answers from a bunch of different people and you still weren't really sure if it's a good web host or not? Well, today we are going to find out because what I've done is I purchased 22 different web hosting packages and I've tested and watched the performance for two months. Now in this video, I'm gonna share my results of companies that performed really good and then companies that performed really bad. In fact, there are some companies that performed so poorly, I had to actually kick them out of my web hosting competition. So I'll be revealing those companies along with all the others today in this video. And keep in mind, I've installed the same size theme on all of these websites to make it a fair and accurate non-biased test to give you real practical results of which hosting company truly is the fastest and the most reliable in this video. Now you might be wondering, how did you start this test? How did you achieve this test? Well, what I did here was I actually used ManageWP to watch their uptime. So when the site is up, I want to know if the site's up and when it goes down, this program will notify me when the site goes down. And this is good because it lets me know what is a reliable hosting company and what is a not reliable web hosting company. And I've also used Pingdom right here to watch their performance and their speed as well. So you can see right here how I'm monitoring all their server response time, I'm monitoring their uptime, and I'm actually finding out how fast every single company is in this video to give you real accurate non-biased results. So with that said, let's just jump into it. Now, this is the website that I use to install on all these domains. So I just imported an Aster Starter website. Now I imported the same size theme on all these domains to make it as fair as possible for every single web host. So that's how I achieved these results. Now, one thing I wanna talk about before we go to the first company is a common problem with beginners when they're shopping for web hosting. Now, when you go to these websites, you see their plans, right? And you might come across things where it says a certain amount of monthly visitors. So here it says 10,000 monthly visits, 25,000 monthly visits, and then 100,000 monthly visits as well. But then you go to other companies and it says unlimited everything. Now, when these companies say unlimited everything, that is simply not true. What they do is they actually throttle you once you get to a certain point. So once you hit a certain storage and certain traffic, they throttle your plan, they slow it down, and they force you to upgrade, which is very deceptive, especially for beginners. In fact, if you go to their terms of service, they'll actually tell you. So bandwidth and disk usage is basically saying, um, we will provide you with this, but it is has to be reasonable. So the services are intended for reasonable space businesses, etc. So that's what they really mean when they say unlimited. So when you see companies offer unlimited everything, it is simply not true. So I just want to educate you on that myth of web hosting because a lot of beginners ask me and it's a very good question. So with that said, let's go to the first company. Now before I begin, before I talk about these hosting companies, all of the links for all of these companies are in the description below of this video. This test took me around three months to make and it cost me around $5,000. So I spent a lot of time and resources on this project. So if you want to go ahead and purchase one of these hosting companies, there is a link below. In fact, I do have exclusive discounts to a few of these companies. I reached out to them and they said, all right, we'll give you a discount. So uh, there are discounts for some of these web hosting companies in the description below. And if they email me and give them to me, I'll go ahead and put those coupon codes in the description below as well. I do make a small commission if you do decide to purchase them. And again, it continues to help me make free videos like this. So enough of that, let's just go ahead and jump into it. Now, the first company is InterServer. Now, unfortunately, these first three companies were disqualified because they kept going down and it forced me to keep calling them. They didn't know what to do. They had to call their tech guy. So the first three companies that were disqualified for a lack of uptime was InterServer, DreamHost, and Namecheap. These three companies I could not recommend, unfortunately, because they just had too much downtime and too many problems with their web host. So unfortunately, those three companies were disqualified from my competition. So if you're using these three hosting companies, stick around because I guarantee you, I will show you some really good results from these web hosting companies. Now, first up is... Hostgator. <laughs> Hostgator is a pretty popular web hosting company, but their results were among one of the worst three, unfortunately. 
So here you can see my progress with HostGator, and I want you to understand this before we talk about all the companies. So the average server response time is the time it takes basically for the website to reach the server. So anything around, I wanna say around 1,000 to 2,000 is decent. Anything above that is not good. In fact, HostGator has almost 7,000 MS of server response time, which is very, very slow. That's seven seconds for information to get to their server. Now they had a total of four hours of downtime, which is a little high in my book. Now let's take a look at their average load speed. So their average load speed to load a website like this right here, like this right here, on average is seven seconds. I'm just gonna round it up in this video, seven seconds. So that is extremely slow and I would not recommend this company whatsoever. Even if they give you a discount, do not take it because there are way better companies I'll talk about in this video today. So would I recommend HostGator? No, no, I would not recommend HostGator. Next is iPage. iPage, again, is another popular company. Unfortunately, it's owned by the EIG company, which is a very, uh, people have a very negative outlook towards EIG. Now, iPage, again, had pretty bad results as well. They were down for three hours over the last two months, and their average response time, again, was around six seconds, and the average load time is around five seconds. Now, if you're gonna ask me, Daryl, what's a good load time? Well, Google says, Anything under three seconds is good. Anything above three seconds is bad because unfortunately people on the internet have ADD and they'll just go ahead and click off as soon as it takes too long. So you wanna make sure your site is loading very fast for those users. And again, an average server response time that's decent is around like 200 to 2000, somewhere in the range of there. So would I recommend iPage? No, no, I would not. In fact, I'm not even gonna put their link in there. So don't, just don't, I don't want you to do it. Don't do it to yourself. Next is Green Geeks, and Green Geeks was last year's champion. So let's take a look at Green Geeks results. Now, on average, they had only 31 minutes of downtime over two months, and their average server response time is around 2,000 MS, and that's basically two seconds. So that's not bad. And their load time is around 2.73, which is again, not bad at all. In fact, if you look at their server, it is consistent. So when you look at these results, you wanna see consistency. So um, anything that goes like really, really crazy, the servers are usually inconsistent and they're probably wacky servers. And I'll have some good examples of some of them coming up, but would I recommend Green Geeks? Sure, I think they're a solid company. They also have good customer support and you can get hosting for a year from them for about a hundred bucks. So that's a decent price. In fact, most of these companies all charge around the same price. So uh, let's go to the next one. Here we have Ionus, formerly one and one. Now this company has been around for probably the longest now, this company, unfortunately, has really, really bad reviews on the internet. I don't know why. I, I've never been a customer of theirs, but if you search up like one-on-one -on -one reviews, uh, people are not happy with this company. But let's just take a look at the results. I'm not being biased in any way. So they had around 25 minutes of downtime with an average server response time of around 2,000 MS. So very similar to Green Geeks. Now, their load time is around two and a half seconds as well. That's pretty good, however, these results right here is what I was talking about. This is a very inconsistent server. So every hour you can see that this is just like a haywire server. I mean, at one point the site's loading in five seconds, three seconds, three seconds, two and a half, et cetera. Now due to their kind of crazy server and not really being consistent and the negative reviews, unfortunately I wouldn't recommend this company but I, that's just my personal opinion because I'm just going based off what I've seen here. I don't like this because this is too inconsistent. So would I recommend one-on-one? -on -one? No, no, I would not. Next is Host Papa. And Host Papa, I think they teamed up with Elementor last year as some sort of partnership or something like that. But uh, let's take a look at their results here. So they had around an average load speed or average server response time of around 35, 3.5 seconds with three hours of downtime over two months. And their average load time is around three seconds. So this is gonna be hard for me because last year I recommended them, but this year my answer is neutral. Now, Host Papa actually offers some pretty competitive pricing. They are one of the cheaper companies. You can get hosting for like 50 bucks for the year. So if you're gonna ask me what I recommend Host Papa, I'm neutral. 
I'm not saying yes, I'm not saying no, I'm just gonna look the other way and you get your credit card out and do whatever you want. So, but again, they are very cost effective. Next is mediatemple.net and I always include these guys because they're in Los Angeles, I wanna give them the benefit of the doubt, but uh, every year they just perform not really good. So they have an average um, server response time of around three seconds. They had only two hours of downtime only. I mean, that's a long that's a long time. I shouldn't say only. That, that is the wrong word. Uh, let's take a look at their load time. So their load time is around five seconds. And personally, that is just too much for me in my book. So if you're gonna ask me about Media Temple, uh, would I recommend them? No, no, I would not. Next is A2 Hosting. Now A2 Hosting is usually always within like the top three to four recommended hosting. Whenever I see polls on Facebook or I see blogs, etc. But let's take a look at the results I had with A2 Hosting. Now A2 Hosting had around two hours of downtime and their average server response time is around 2000 MS, which again is not that good. Uh, but they did have a load time of around two seconds. So compared to those other previous companies, um, they are actually performing uh, among the faster ones out of those other companies. So if you're gonna ask me, would I recommend A2 Hosting? Yeah, yeah, I would. In fact, they do have competitive pricing. Now, right now I'm making this video during like the holidays, so you're gonna see a lot of sales coming up, but um, they offer really competitive pricing just off their base price. I mean, you can get hosting for like a year, again, for just like a hundred bucks. So uh, check out uh, A2 Hosting, they're not a bad company. Uh, next is InMotion Hosting. InMotion Hosting is again from my hometown. They are in uh, Los Angeles, California. So I wanted to check them out and see how they did. And unfortunately, this company performed the worst. They performed <laughs> the worst. They had a total of 14 hours of downtime with 193 outages. Ouch, 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 ouch. In fact, looking at their downtime right here, some of their downtime just went down for a long time. Like it went down for like a whole day and then it just came up like, I don't understand it. So let's take a look at their speed. All right, almost five seconds. No, I don't recommend them. Next, next. All right, fast comment. We have fast comment now. Now I got a lot of requests to do this company. So I just decided to throw it in there and say, all right, let's just check them out. So fast comment again is um, another company that offers some really competitive pricing like Host Papa. They're really, really cheap. Now they had around only 31 minutes of downtime, which is not bad. Now they had an average load time. I'm sorry, I gotta stop saying that. Average server response of 3,500, which is 3.5 seconds, with their load time being around 2.24 seconds. Now, personally, I think that this is a little too long or a little too high as far as server response time goes. I mean, 3,500 is just a little too high, but their load time isn't that bad. So if you're gonna ask me, would I recommend fast comments? Again, I'm neutral on this one because I'm gonna show you other companies that are, are a lot faster, but if you're on a budget and you want a hosting from this company, uh, go for it. You know, if they have a really good sale or if they have a good deal, you know, sure, go ahead, go check it out, why not? Next is TMD Hosting. And I used to recommend this company a few years ago. In fact, if you go look at my old videos, I used to recommend TMD Hosting, but I stopped. And I stopped for a reason is because this company just had so much downtime and so many slow issues that I just couldn't recommend it anymore in my videos. In fact, during my tutorials, I would see like my my low time and I had to like edit it out. And I'm like, look, man, I gotta be honest with my viewers, like this hosting sucks, so I had to leave them. Now, uh, they had around six hours of downtime over three months or two months, I'm sorry, and their average server response time is around three seconds. Their load time is around 2.73 seconds. However, looking at these results right here, again, these are very inconsistent server responses, so, or speed time, so if you're gonna ask me whether I recommend TMD hosting, I'm gonna say no from my personal experience. Now, I know this doesn't seem like a long load time, but again, look at the server, how inconsistent it is, and uh, I wouldn't base my business around that personally. So no, I would not recommend TMD hosting. I do have a discount code if you wanna go ahead and check it out though. If you think uh, maybe, you know, you wanna 
check it out. I have a hosting uh, a discount code for them. Next is GoDaddy. Now I remember when I was a kid, GoDaddy had those provocative commercials of like women in like bikinis and they're acting all like, oh, GoDaddy. And I'm like, what, what is this? Is this a, a porn company or is this a web hosting company? Uh, but that marketing campaign is actually what got them famous. But uh, when I was young, I was very confused. I, I really didn't understand the whole point of it. But uh, I mean, my mom would, she walk in, she's like, what are you watching? And I'm like, I don't know. But I was a kid back then. So it was early in the, the, the mid 90s, those commercials were going on. But uh, GoDaddy had only around two hours of downtime and their average load time is uh, around three seconds. So that's not that bad at all. Now, unfortunately, a lot of people hate this company. Whenever I see Facebook groups, I have a group myself or a Divi group, I just see people with nothing but negative things to say about GoDaddy. And it's probably due to their customer service. It can be due to their servers going down or something like that. But these results are not that bad. However, due to the overwhelming negativity amount uh, or reports that I get from people, I'm gonna remain neutral on this one. I don't think these results are that bad to be honest, but people out there really don't like GoDaddy and there's prob they're probably doing something to customers that I just don't know about. And I've only built one website with GoDaddy and it was a client, it was a Vietnamese lady and she wanted an art website. So I had to build her a website and I used GoDaddy because I was a host she was using. But uh, I'm gonna remain neutral on GoDaddy because again, I do feel that there are better hosts out there than GoDaddy. Next is Bluehost. And Bluehost is the official recommended hosting company by WordPress.org. I don't know why, but let's just find out uh, the, the results right here. So, um, oh, I have to go click on it here. My, my bad, my bad here. Last six months, oh, there we go. So uh, they had an average downtime of 34 minutes, which is not that bad comparing the other companies. They had an average server response time of uh, 2.3 seconds and their load time, oh, look at this. Let me go back over here. My, my mistake, guys, I got this already and look at me, I'm a mess. Here we go, where, where, where are you, uh, Bluehost, here we go. So their, their average load time is 3.78 seconds. Now, looking at these results right here, these are more consistent. So I would have to say uh, I wouldn't recommend this company because they are loading more than three seconds, unfortunately. So almost four seconds, and that's a consistent load time. So basically saying your website will consistently load at around four seconds, which is pretty slow in my book, and that's not what Google recommends. So would I recommend Bluehost? No, no, I would not. Next is SiteGround. Now you've seen my channel, you know I recommend SiteGround. People out there probably think, oh Daryl, you just like to promote this company because you know they, they pay you commissions or whatever. And guys, that is not true. <laughs> I mean, part of it is the truth, but uh, this company has just been proven to have great customer service, good pricing, but you know, let's let's find out if their results are good. You know, let's see if SiteGround really is as good as people say they are. So looking at these results right here, they had an average server response time of 1.5 seconds, which is lower than all of the other web hosting companies. And they only had around 26 minutes of downtime. So that right there is pretty good. Now let's take a look at their speed. So their load time is around 1.87, which again is faster than all of the previous other companies. So Again, Sikron remains a trusted web hosting company, so I stand by them. You know, they're a great company. And uh, if you're gonna ask me, would I recommend um, Sikron? Yes, yes, I would. In fact, I have a discount for all of you in the description below of this video. So be sure to check out Sikron. Now, there's something appalling. There's something that I have to tell you all. We're gonna talk about Name Hero now. Now, Name Hero again is a very underrated host, and they're not promoted a lot on the internet, probably because people maybe they don't pay them enough. I don't know. I don't know. But this company again, uh, they're they're pretty good. In fact, they're one of the best on this whole list. Now, let's take a look at Name Hero's results here. Now, Name Hero only had four minutes of downtime, so that's better than Site Grounds. Now, um, taking a look at their speed again. Their load time is on average 1.19 seconds, which is faster than every other company on this list as far as shared hosting. We're gonna talk about cloud and managed in just a bit, but for right now, all these shared accounts, Name Hero is faster than all of the other companies 
on this list. Um, you can see here the results are consistent. So they're not like that haywire. I mean, they're 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 on average. So uh, if you're gonna ask me, would I recommend Aim Hero? Yes. In fact, I have an exclusive discount from this company in the description below that I worked out with the owner. The owner's name was Ryan, and he agreed to give me a discount exclusive through my link. So I thought that was really cool. So if you want to go ahead and try them out, I highly recommend uh, Name Hero. And they actually have um, they have really good hosting plans. And it's funny, they've actually been focused on reseller hosting. And I told the owner, I was like, bro, why don't you focus on shared? I'm like, you're shared faster than other companies. Like, what are you, man? It's stupid, you know? But the owner is actually a really cool guy. And again, you can see from their um, their plans, they actually tell you how much traffic that you'll get uh, based off the plan. They tell you how much storage. Now they do say unlimited, but what he does right here is he tells you in parentheses. So again, they're a really good company. They just opened up in Europe. So if you are in um, Netherlands or if you're in Denmark, you know, or, or wherever out in Europe, they have uh, hosting packages for people in Europe. So be sure to check out Name Hero. They were again the fastest shared hosting account on this entire list. Now we're going to talk about cloud hosting and managed hosting, which is for people who have been in the game for a while. Now, personally, if you are just getting started out with WordPress, I'm not going to recommend cloud hosting for you. Go to the shared hosting packages. Those are good. But for people like myself and people who have been in the game for a while and want a blazing fast website, uh, these companies I'm going to talk about are more expensive but they provide a much faster result. Now, I have an exclusive discount for Liquid Web as well in the description below of this video. I talked to their affiliate program, they knew who I am, and they actually reached out to me and says, hey, we'll give you a discount for your viewers. And I said, hey man, that's really cool, <laughs> you know? But uh, let's take a look at the results I had. Now, what I used here was I used their, their managed WordPress, which is essentially cloud hosting. And I use the plan, I'll show you the plan I use just to give you an example. I use the plan of the professional right here. So if you decide to go with them, I highly recommend getting the professional. It's around 90 or it's around $100 a month, but you can host 10 websites on it and you do get a lot of space and bandwidth, etc. Now let's take a look at the results I had with Liquid Web. Now Liquid Web had some very good results. Now here you can see that the average server response time is less than half a second, which is very, very good. And their average load time per website is less than one second. So 660 MS. So you can see here how you're getting uh, a much better quality of hosting if you decide to upgrade and go to cloud and manage. So if you're going to ask me what I recommend, uh, what I recommend Liquid Web, absolutely. I have a discount for them in the description below. So be sure to check that out. Um, next is Flywheel. And Flywheel, again, is another managed hosting account. They offer cloud hosting. Now, this company right here does not sell domains. So you have to migrate your website from another company and they offer free migration. So just tell them, hey, I got a website from HostGator. I got to get it out of there, you know, and they'll they'll migrate it for free. Now, um, Flywheel, they are a little expensive as well. Most of these hosting accounts that I'm recommending, they are usually around $100 a month on average. So Liquid Web, uh, Flywheel, Manage WP, et cetera. So for their freelance accounts, you get to host 10 websites again. You get, again, the same amount of monthly visits and disk space for around around $100. And if you're going to go with them, I recommend doing the uh, the monthly plan as far as this one goes because this will always give you kind of like enough time to decide if it's for you or not. You can always get your money back after 30 days anyways. But let's take a look at their results here. So they, again, had some very good server response time. I mean, they're loading at around half a second. So again, that's very, very good, blazing fast. Now, also, their load time is around 1.18. So again, that's pretty good. And for, you know, for um, for, for cloud hosting, it's th this is a result that you can expect. Now, one thing I want to note is that for phone support, you actually have to purchase, I believe, the agency plan. So Liquid Web, you always get phone support no matter what. Um, Flywheel, you do get phone support, and I think you have to go through their agency plan in order to get that. So if you own a web design business and you want to kind of see how Flywheel works for you, go with their agency plan because, I mean, $290 is nothing if you're running like 30 websites. I mean, it's like it's like a dent, you know, it's like a, it's like a scratch. It's a tiny scratch. But uh, if you're going to ask me, would I recommend Flywheel? Absolutely. They're a great company. Next is WP Engine. 
Now, last year, these guys did not perform so good, and I was very, very surprised for someone that actually had you know a big reputation. Now, this company had around 100% uptime, and I had to use this program because Pingdom wasn't really working well with their servers, so I used another plugin, and I was able to watch their uptime, so they had great uptime as well. Now, as far as their load time, again, these guys are blazing fast, so their load time is around 636 MS, which is 0.6 of a second. Now their pricing again is actually pretty good. So let's just talk about their pricing. You're gonna see that in the in the um, in the this field, they're all kind of similar. So on average, you can get the same thing again for $115, or you can host like just one website for 35 bucks a month, which is not that good, you know. So I'd basically go with the growth. And if you are running a large amount of traffic, I would get the scale if you are you know hosting a lot of websites and you know, if you have a lot of traffic, et cetera. But WP Engine, again, is great, and they do have phone support as well. And that's a very big one because uh, some companies that are for cloud don't offer phone support, which is really annoying. I mean, if you have a problem, guys, on your website and you can't call them, that's the most frustrating thing in my book. It's like, oh, my site's down. I have a big... Uh, you got hacked uh, screen on my on my computer. I can't call anybody. <laughs> like you know what I mean. Like, but these guys have phone supports. Uh, they're an American company. They're great. So if you want to check out WP Engine, I highly recommend them. They are a great company. Uh, next is. Kinsta. And Kinsta is actually another good web hosting company. Now, on their plans, they actually give you a little bit more storage than other hosting accounts, which is pretty cool. However, they lack something that other cloud hosting companies give, and that's phone support. So if you want phone support, this company does not offer it, unfortunately. And this hosting is based off the Google Cloud. Now, they had some amazing uptime. In fact, they had zero downtime whatsoever in two months, which was better than every other company. I think, see, did this, yeah, every company went down except for, um, except for Kinsta, which is very impressive. Now, their low time is around one second. So if you're gonna ask me about all these companies, um, they're all very, very similar because, you know, 1.1 uh, against like 800 MS, you're not gonna see the difference with the human eye. You're not gonna really see the, the, the speed of it because it's so small, but they're all very neck and neck. They're all really good. Uh, I like Kinsta. I think they have a great service. I just wish they had phone support. Now, I think if you purchase like their, their most expensive plan, which is like their like enterprise or something like that, I think you get phone support <laughs> with that one or something like that, but you gotta buy the really, really big ones. So let me take a look here. So if you're gonna buy something, I would probably get the business or the business two. Now, um, they only offer, or for the $200 a month, they offer 10 WordPress installs, which is the same amount as the others. However, with Kinsta, you get more disk space than other companies. So that's a trade-off right there. So you do pay a little bit, I'm sorry, for this one right here, you basically pay the same, and you get a little bit more disk space. However, you lack the ability for phone support. So that's a trade-off that you have to decide what is good for you. But um, based off the results, Kinsta again is another solid web hosting company. So would I recommend Kinsta? Yes, yes I would. Lastly is Cloudways. Now Cloudways is a very different company because you can host your website on various platforms. So let me see if I can give you an example here. So if you want your website hosted on Amazon AWS or on Vulture or on Google Cloud, these guys will manage it for you. However, it is a little bit more expensive and you would save a lot more money if you just went to those companies directly. However, Cloudways will manage these companies or your website for you and the space, et cetera, to so take away all the hassle and the time of having to, you know, check out your website and have someone, you know, hire a developer for Amazon AWS. These guys will do it all for you. So that's pretty cool. Their plans are a little expensive in my book. Now I'll take a look at their results. Now, these were the default results that I had with Cloudways based off their Google Cloud hosting, and they had great uptime, 100% uptime, which is incredible. And their server response, or their, their page speed, was around one and a half second. Now, personally, I think that's just a little too high for cloud hosting because if we look at Name Hero's results, take a look at Name Hero, Name Hero is loading faster than Cloudways. That's weird. So, Name Hero and then Cloudways. So, 
a minute or a, a second and a half. And then here we have uh, 1.19. So usually shared hosting is supposed to be slower than cloud. So uh, in my book, I am personally, uh, I'm not really against Cloudways, but I would think there's probably better places to spend your money. I'd probably go with Liquid Web, WP Engine, Flywheel, and Kinsta in that order. And um, I probably wouldn't go with Cloudways. So if you're gonna ask me, would I go with Cloudways? I'm just gonna remain neutral on this one because I think that um, they do ask for a lot of money and these results are good, no doubts, but uh, there's companies that can offer better in my book. So that's just my opinion. Now, I hope this test was helpful, guys. Um, you know, I spent a lot of time and effort making this test. It took me around three months. I purchased a lot of hosting plans. I was on the phone with a lot of companies. I had a lot of problems with a lot of these hosting companies, but I just wanted to provide you all with truthful, accurate, non-biased results because I see websites and other blogs and they're just like stars and graphs and it's all BS, you know, they're just trying to make commissions. I mean, I myself am too, but I'm providing you all with actual true value. So again, I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to like it, tell your brother, tell your mom, say, hey, check out this video on YouTube. But again, um, if you're going to ask me uh, right now, which hosting companies would I recommend as far as shared hosting goes, I would recommend Name Hero and SiteGround, A2 Hosting and Green Geeks. And if you're feeling lucky, go with Host Papa and go with, uh, what was it, uh, Fast Comet as well. Uh, as far as cloud hosting goes, if you're going to ask me which ones would I recommend, I would recommend the managed WordPress from Liquid Web. I would also recommend Flywheel. I would recommend their freelance plan. And I would also recommend WP Engine because uh, they had great speed. I mean, they were actually faster than Flywheel. And then also we had Kinsta. And Kinsta, again, I highly recommend. Uh, they do lack phone support, so just keep that in mind. And uh, I would not recommend Cloudways or I'll just remain neutral just because, I don't know, I just feel if you're going to spend a lot of money, I want better results, right? I mean, that's just the average consumer's thinking. So again, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments below what website you went with and if this video was helpful and uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know your favorite beer. I think some of my viewers know my favorite beer. It is Modelo. Man, I'm talking so much. All right. But um, again, guys, thank you for watching this video. I really hope that helped and I will see you all in the next video.